As guitarists, many of us want to play better solos. Check out this exercise to improve your skills. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you're already subscribed, really appreciate your support and welcome back. If this is your first time, my name is Jimmy and on this channel we do gear videos, song lessons, and technique lessons just like this one. So if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Now at any point during the video, you can check the lesson plan in the description box below. There you'll find equipment details, tips and tricks, along with timestamps so that you can skip to different parts of the video. Now this exercise that we're going to talk about is not about speed. It's really about developing the connection between your ears and your fingers. So we're going to practice over a backing track using the major scale. And the idea behind this is we're going to practice over the 2-5-1 chord progression. It's a very common chord progression. In the key of C, the 2 is D minor, the 5 is G7, and of course the 1 is C major. Now the idea behind this exercise and the backing track that goes with it is the 2-5-1 chord progression is going to be played twice and you'll be playing a little solo over it using the major scale. After it's played twice, which is an eight bar segment, the key is going to change. And we're gonna change keys following the circle of fifths. So as an example, the backing track starts in the key of C. And over the key of C, you have the two, five, one, D minor seven, G seven, and C major seven. That chord sequence will be played twice, and you'll be able to play a solo or an exercise using the C major scale for that duration. Then the key is going to change following the circle of fifths. The next key on the circle would be the key of G. Now your chords are A minor 7, D7, and G major 7. For that segment, you'd be playing using the G major scale. And of course, your notes would fit over the chords that the backing track just changed to. Now the next key in the circle of fifths would be the key of D. And again, the backing track is going to change key using the same sequence of that 2-5-1 chord progression. And of course, you'd adapt your major scale accordingly. So the idea behind this is to be able to anticipate the key changes and move your major scale to the proper key. And that way, your solo and the exercise that you're playing fits over the chords. And this is going to massively improve your soloing, your songwriting, and also your understanding of uh, where the notes and the chords fit together on the guitar neck. The great thing about this exercise is it's totally up to you how easy or how difficult you want to make it. And you can adapt it based on your current skill level. For example, maybe right now you only know one version of the major scale or one pattern of the major scale. That's perfectly fine. You start playing the backing track over the backing track in the key of C, and then you can take that same scale pattern, slide it up the guitar neck, use that same pattern, and then you'll be playing in the key of G to follow the next chord change. Take a look at this example and see how I use the same pattern over different keys.
Now again, we said this exercise is very adaptable. So now, say that you've taken your guitar playing to the point where you know more versions of the major scale, or you already knew them. The great thing about this is, now you can increase the difficulty. Use the same backing track, the same key changes, but this time, make it your goal not just to anticipate the key changes and change scale accordingly, but change scale to a different pattern that you know while minimizing your hand movement up and down the guitar neck. This will be a challenge, but it's going to increase your understanding of how many different keys you can play over, basically in the same position of the guitar fingerboard. Take a look at this example where I do just that. We'll try playing uh, over these different keys and minimize the hand movement up and down the neck. So the great thing about that version of the exercise is it helps you to visualize and see many more options for your solos in different areas of the guitar neck. And that's again going to be a massive improvement to your ability as a soloist. Now it's your turn. Try using any of the major scale patterns that you already know and play over the backing track that's coming up. Follow those key changes, see if you can anticipate them, and most importantly, uh, get the taste for them in your ears and being able to hear them is really going to make a difference in your soloing. As a cool note, you can pick up the backing track from this video along with a free lesson worksheet. The link is in the description below. You can get that on my website. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this and hit that bell to get notified and we'll see you on the next one.